that's yeah. wonderful. Do you know what's well, going to happen you. next, Gats, or do you, did you, Pardon? do you have it mapped out, or do you know what's You know, I saw, I, 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 I'm on page 100 now, uh -huh. and, I'm, and he's just at the end of page 100, flying first class to Paris on a TWA Constellation flight. Because the chapter I was going to read, he goes back to Cruise Mark's office because he has, he made, he was, he got in there because he had a thing on a guy that worked for security for Midtown office buildings, and this guy owed him one and loaned him for the afternoon what's called a submaster to the 45th floor of the Chrysler. A submaster is a key that will open any door on the 45th floor. And so, uh, of course, Harry being Harry, after he got in there and took all the photographs of, of Cruise Mark's secret documents, he made a copy of the, of the key before he mailed the original back to the friend that had loaned it to him. So his plan was, if he could get to the 45th floor, he can go into every office on the 45th floor and, and um, you know, bust into their petty cash boxes. Because he ends up, he's got, you know, after he finds that, that Cypher didn't take his 200 bucks emergency cash that was in the office. So he's got like, and plus what Demos had in his wallet, he's got like 260 bucks, you know, to get the hell out of Dodge. And so he... He, um, but anyway, so he gets into Cruise Mark's office, he's got the submaster, and, and he's searching around and he never thought to look behind these impressionist paintings that are hanging all around the walls, and this is the chapter I'm not reading, so he starts taking them down, and under the third painting, he finds a, a hidden wall safe, and playing a hunch, he dials 666 as the combination, and it pops open, and my God, there's, as he says, there's, uh, there's 20 large in C notes inside. In other words, he has, now he has $20,000, you know, like out of the blue. So he doesn't need to raid every office on the 45th floor. You know, if he can only, you know, so anyway, so he, he so that, that, but anyway, he drives, he drives, and he ends up in Boston. And there are no flights out of Boston, and yada, da, da, da. He suddenly, he's all made up, he's got a wig on, he's got a fake mustache, and he's getting on the first class flight. And the rest of the story takes place in Paris. And the reason is, and, and way back in this book, is like he asks, because Cypher has a funny accent, and he asks the lawyer, this wine sack guy, who's now dead, Cypher has killed him too, he asks him, you know, like, what nationality Cypher is, and he says, I don't know, he carries a French passport. And so, because I, I thought it was kind of funny that if the devil was going to be have a nationality, he'd be French. <laughs> so, 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 that, so this is where he goes, and naturally he goes to Paris uh, to look. And, and, and I thought that this could be really tough going because, I, I mean, I've been to Paris a few times, but I don't really know Paris. But then Harry doesn't know Paris, and he doesn't know any French. So it's a complete, you know, it's all unknown territory to him. So I figure I could, you know, just be as stupid as I could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you going to finish this one this year, or is this? Are you, I, oh, no, 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 no. This is not. Where is it? This is not. You, do you see the size of this? That's what I'm gaming for. This is not going to be. A, and I'm done with the. Uh, I'm done with the Moby Dick. Twenty years. No, I'm finished. I haven't got. I haven't got the time or the inclination, but so. Right. And the best thing about, I'll just say this, like, now that I've given away the ending, like, the devil hires a private detective and he finds himself, and that's the ending, it's a big old switcheroo. I have a switcheroo for this story that's every bit as good. It's so good. That's what makes me want to do it. And there's one other little small detail, which I won't tell you, but if the Pope could issue a fatwa, I'd be a dead man. <laughs> or maybe I will be anyway. Praised fundamentalist Catholic may just want to, you know, put a bullet in my head. I'm going to say it. It's not, so it's not kind to organize religion. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have, uh, I have the fallen angel in the paperback. That it, when it first came out, uh -huh. you know how old it is. I do know. <laughs> I, I was like 1980. Maybe. I loaned it out. And no, even earlier. But oh, I got yeah. it back. Yeah. You got it back or never got it. I back? got it. Oh, because yeah. if you didn't, there's a really inexpensive <laughs> <laughs> sale, and uh, when we you know, no. almost 
you know, I and, 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 and if I make a right phone call, James Lee Burke will come in and sign it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody needs to get the book because it's wonderful, but don't read it by yourself. <laughs> yeah, or, or after midnight. Yeah, it's kind of skipped, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and this book is going to be even nastier and more vicious. I read it at the hotel, and you know, that's a scary place. It is. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Rats in your basement, too, maybe. That's right. <laughs> but, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, this book is about a guy now. I mean, my, new, my character now is a guy who has lived his life as someone called Harry Angel for all these years and is now forced to realize, even though he has no memory of it, that he's actually this pop singer, this big band singer named Johnny Favorite, who's a devil worshiper. And these things, and, and I've tried to do that in the opening chapter by, there's a lot of musical, you know, dumb as a drum solo. The, you know, see, the, the slang is going to start sloughing away from hard-boiled detective slang into jazz man, 40s slang, and, you know, he's, he's learning that this is who he is. He is, and the name he puts on his fake passport is John X Favorite, you know. So, in other words, he's claiming this identity, who's like, this guy is badass, you know what I mean? Like, and he's going to do some very, very bad things, and the big, what happened to Demos is only... It's only the beginning. <laughs> he, he, before he gets on that plane in Boston, he's already killed three people. So, yeah. you know, so. Anyway. Yeah. It's amazing, Max, how well you turned out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just imagination. You know what I mean? It's like fiction. Does he, does he turn out to be the good guy? Or? Nah, just, just, he doesn't. Uh, no, he's not going to ever be a good guy. But, well, but, yeah, but yeah. something happens to him that, that that he doesn't expect. Let's put that. <laughs> yeah. The rug gets pulled out from underneath him one more time. Yeah. See, he's going to get. He wants to get Cipher. You know, he doesn't. He's not completely convinced that Cipher really is the devil, or there really is such a thing as the devil. He's beginning to realize that maybe he is this guy Johnny Favorite, whatever that means. But, you know, he, seen, he didn't kill any of these people. He didn't kill his daughter in this horrible, horrible way. So he wants to get Cypher, and he's going to kill him. That's the main, that's all he, this sort of a revenge story. I'm, so I'm more concerned with whether I'm going to have anything, any place for my sympathies to go. Oh, well, you know, it's like if you, if, if, if when you read, uh, you, know, if, you know, if you read Othello and you root for Iago, then you, your sympathies could be here. <laughs> Will you read it again? When you get further on, will you have another book reading? I might, I might. It's going to be hard, you know, because I have to then talk you through to where we are now. But maybe I'll have a chapter so singularly vicious <laughs> that I can just jump into it. <laughs> well, you know, if, if I was A.A. A. Mill, I would have written uh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and I wish I had it. I wish I were. But I, I, here I am. Well, thank you so much.